My father died at a young age and I was young. I have a lot of regrets. There's so many other people that know a lot more about him than I do. I feel very cheated. He didn't tell me what was going on in his life. We saw a lot of death. We saw a lot of wounded. We seen bodies stacked so high. People started trying to educate themselves about how the war started, where the war was going. For the first time, I was really looking at the enemy, not so much as the enemy, but as another minority, brown people. I told my brother when I got home from Vietnam, I'd rather go to Canada. And I would support him in Canada than to see him go to Vietnam. I said, oh my goodness, they, they, you got a Purple Heart. They sent me the Purple Heart. And I gave it to him and he took it and just ripped it up and threw it. And that, that was upsetting to me because I didn't know why he was doing that. I, you know, I, I got some medals too that I'm not so proud of, you know. Uh, I did some things in Vietnam that, hey man, like I'm gonna live with the rest of my life, you know? I was never told that he had a drug product problem. I was never told about his addiction. I was never educated on what was going on in his life. He led a double life for many years, and he managed to do it, and still do all, all kinds of other things, like be a shop steward in his union, like you know, work in the anti-apartheid movement in Jersey City and build that movement, be like a, a real core person within that. The war in Vietnam wasn't stopped by the politicians. The war in Vietnam was stopped by people getting out in the streets and saying it's wrong. You see a reflection in the mirror.